everybody. Uh, my name is Hongjia, and today I would like to introduce our paper SwingNet, Ubiquitous Fine-Grained Swing Tracking Framework via Stochastic Neural Architecture Search and Advanced Learning. Swing tracking is one important aspect that provides key information in many sports assessment, such as baseball, golf, and tennis. There are various modalities of sensors for sports analytics, and the swing tracking could prevent injury, coaching, and improving athletes' performance and many other benefits. There are some previous work that, try, uh, that can be used for string tracking, um, for example, the high fidelity cameras uh, and the singular cameras. While the vision based method usually suffers from occlusion, while the high fidelity cameras um, usually be very pricey and uh, lack of um, mobility. Uh, using multiple cameras, and uh, using the multiple uh, RF sensing, uh, also lack of the mobility, and simply using the IMU sensor to do the trajectory um, tracking uh, is really uh, poor within performance due to its um, accumulated error. We uh, propose to using the um, mobile depth sensor and IMU sensor, these two sensor modality to, uh, modalities to do the sensor fusion. And uh, we've done um, previous uh, initial work that uh, using the ground truth, for example, as the object track to train the uh, framework to do the uh, string tracking prediction. However, the previous work uh, still lack of information that whether proposed architecture is the optimal and uh, also lack of information with the uh, different domains, for example, subjects and uh, device and uh, sports. So we propose SwingNet. Um, SwingNet includes three um, blocks that is auto feature e uh, extractor and uh, a regression error and uh, also a domain discriminator. So auto feature extractor trying to learn the uh, common feature uh, that uh, for different domains and uh, regression error trying to improve its um, pre prediction accuracy while domain discriminator trying to minimize the different um, domains among the subjects, sports, and device. Uh, we want to bring the NAS to swing tracking because NAS has been proven uh, very successful in many other um, tasks, for example, image classification and uh, semantic classification uh, segmentation. So we usually, uh, we're basically using the random graph generator to generate certain layers. In here, an example is showing that using uh, Ardo Renoi ER graph with five nodes and eight edges can be mapped into a CN layer that is similar like a residual and or resonant um, block. So uh, here's the R feature structure regression layer. They basically have three and one um, random graph. And uh, for the domain discriminator, we're simply using the uh, DN because during the uh, inference, we do not use the domain discriminator. Uh, this is the data collection configuration. Uh, we're using two uh, depth sensor to collect data. We also consider the different um, distance from the uh, of the depth sensor from the um, subject, and also the or, um, orientation of the depth sensor. And here the result. Uh, we should be in a qualitative um, figure on the. Uh, upper left corner, we see that proposed framework SwingNet is very close to the second uh, picture of the ground truth. While this in the uh, fourth image, the CN um, LSTM uh, is uh, compared with our pre, uh, our proposed framework is suboptimal. For the quantitative result, we show that um, the SwingNet is uh, outperform the CN LSTM and uh, simply use the depth sensor. Uh, we also show the domain adaptation performance for a general model that can include all subjects. The general um, accuracy of the SwingNet is around 3.8 centimeters. For leave one hour subject, we show um, uh, uh, accuracy overall is around 7.6 centimeters. Um, uh, for different depths, um, sensor distance and uh, angles, we show that um, they are not that impactful. Um, you, but we, we observe that include more subjects that um, 
the performance uh, is getting better. Well, um, introduced with the domain adaptation has slightly improved the um, uh, tracking accuracy or performance from different devices. And here is the search architecture within the uh, configuration of the model parameters uh, of the outputs. And uh, this is the energy cost uh, of the data collection using the depth sensor and IMU, and also the inference on the mobile settings with three uh, mobile phones. And we will see that uh, they can be running efficient or collect data efficient. So that is suitable for the uh, mobile uh, setting. We also show the outdoor experiment. Uh, we see that the golf and tennis can be uh, predicted um, smoothly. Uh, thank you for your listening.